morning guys I'm coming from the tent so the plan is to go up the hill for some breakfast here you guys the safari has started at 3.45 I don't know how long this will take but yeah I will have Mbapu as our guide Sanduru as an experienced hiker uh, from the from the hotel so we don't know what to expect guys I'll be sharing with you guys as soon as the light comes in it's very dark right now just see that horizon <laughs> the first shot of sunrise oh, you're almost to our destination 30 minutes so right now it's 5.53 ah, there's some sign of lights and a lot of stars in the sky this place is beautiful we woke up at 3 p.m. as I showed you guys and uh, this is on our second day uh, morning I was we woke up at 3 a.m. when more than half the country was sleeping just to climb a hill but the goal was to make sure that uh, before we catch up the, the early sun so and I uh, can see it on the horizon so very soon we can uh, show you guys some amazing uh, drone photography from this place this place is amazing like the more you climb it looks more of a tropical forest wow there seems to be aqua water here wow let me show you guys in a few dry river back here where we can see <laughs> guys it's it amazing wow the trip was worth it wow just look at this rock Mount Ololokwe, we are finally on top of you. Wow, this is a dream come true for me. Uh, most of you guys have been telling me to come and capture this place. And we're finally, finally here. So let's see what this place holds. Yep. This is a rock and the very funny vegetation here. And it seems like when it rains, there's a heavy downfall of water just look at this it's here Ooh. you sure do you feel man it's been an amazing hike <sighs> amazing from 3 3 3 a.m yes uh still uh, experiencing the last uh, sunrise yes you can see it on the horizon just almost at the summit actually it's not an easy stretch, but man, the final product is worth it. Look at that view. Wow, I'll bring you there in a short while. After we've captured the sunrise from the edge of the hill. So guys, I can see a campsite here. It's amazing. Sunrise, watching sunrise on top of Mount Ololokwe. This scenery, guys, is worth a billion dollars. The biggest star in our solar system. Amazing hills, some rolling hills like here. It's so beautiful. There's a huge flatland here. Then on the horizon, we have some amazing hills formation. There's a Samburu guy singing on top of the cliff. Wow, it looks dangerous. Just look at that. Just got a bit close to him. Just look at that. OMG. Wow. You have Andrew here, one of our friends. How's your experience today? Experience has been uh, great. It's a good climb. Yeah. My back is 
aching a little bit but uh, I, i'm not complaining i'm happy mm-hmm. and uh, i think the experience up here is uh, it's magical yeah, it's, it's worth it it's, it's Just worth this guys yeah it's you have mount kenya this side sunrise the other side Amazing. and i think for me the topography is, is more Beautiful. than anything and yeah wow. good rocks whatever yeah. they didn't get in terms of you know greenery it was compensated yes, compensated <laughs> and then they have many many small hills the other time yes, it's spectacular yeah, yeah it's, it's very very scenic. so do you encourage them to come I any time yeah. any day. Just come any time any day. I think the only trouble is yeah. waking up early in the morning. Yeah. But uh, if, you have, uh, if you have if you are good, you know, very organized tour guys, you'll you'll make it here yeah, by, mm, by the, in time in, in good time for the beautiful experience. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah, thank so you. Any day, any time. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, cheers guys. Cheers. So, just trying to get experience for me it has been amazing. A climbing the mountain was not you know it's it's a it's a nice experience it's not an easy task but it's worth it yeah and this guy got some muscle pull man eh eh your journey but muscle pull like check and muscle pull but about the uh, mentality <laughs> no, no. Yeah, the journey is lazy but we yeah but it was amazing at least we fika but it's worth it mazoe check your check here eh my fans so this is the guy who brought us here eh we don't so joshu so she's my good friend so man is this your second your first time yeah it's my first time in Ololoko Ololoko eh? yeah so you're going to plan uh, more hiking activities to this villa yeah yeah this one was more of a private uh, mm-hmm. uh, experience but we'll have another one in uh, July mm. so don't miss that one uh, we'll, we'll redo it again it will be uh, next time it will be even better we might even come Oh, on top, on top. <laughs> yeah i realized people miss could come any any second any, of the of, of the sun. so you you, you you climb in advance yeah, yeah you just do it also we could evening. have we could have been allowed to camp here yeah you just come in the evening oh. and then you sleep here and then you mm. just wait for the sunrise ah then the morning is just to drop ah yeah. but it's a small more of a bigger task yeah. 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 i just want to show them the name hike is a freak yes that's us i can yes. So if you have plans here to travel, you have a page and you you cover all this. Yeah. Okay. We do. Okay. So what up what up one in is it? You, you, if you want to do a private hike as a group of friends, mm. we're here to facilitate it. And we go to the hidden places uh, around Kenya. Mm. Uh, magnificent places and uh, the service is top notch. Will you be a page Instagram one of the Yeah, Instagram is uh, hike as a freak. Uh, both Instagram, uh, YouTube, mm. Facebook, all of same them. name, yeah, Hikers yeah, Africa. Yeah, yeah. So guys, you can see Mount Kenya from you know behind. Mount Kenya is like the last bit of it. It's here you can clearly see with the naked eye. I don't know with the camera. And uh, this amazing guy has been our guide. Mazet huh? Nashkuru san. What's your name? Mightyas. Mightyas. Oh, Ulizali Oku. Uh, you came here. Wow. Nini nini. Rungu. 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 Ya nini? Ya miti. Ya miti? Mm. Kupiga wanyama ama nini? Kupiga mm. wanyama. Eh. Yeah. Wow. wow. Amazing. Hii ndege gani? Mnahitaji kwenye hii ndege? Motony. Motony? Motony. Ele motony? Ele motony. Ah. Wow. He's telling me the birds we have so big birds way bigger than hawk by far. So it's eagle. Hii na shika dikti kinakula? Shika nakula. Then it's eagle. This is eagle. Wow, look at this bird. So team is time to go down and here we can see some wild berries in red there. Wow. Guys, just look at this tree. Wow, ini mitigani. Ini fig tree? 
Wow. Look how big it is. This is this must be a hundred years plus, isn't it? Yeah. They don't grow fast. Guys, the well I showed you earlier. Is it in my genin? Oh god he's fetching water. Yeah, just look at this tree. Wow. Just look at this. <laughs> Decorated with stones. Wow. These are things we couldn't see at night. Wow. So you have buffalo and elephant dunk everywhere and some a lot of animal dunk. So which means this place has a lot of wildlife in it. Epic. You can see like the dead trees. Like after every few meters, the vegetation here. Interesting as well. Whenever using this road, I can see a lot of ant hills as well. Just look at this ant hill. It's huge. So big. Look at this. This is quite fresh. You can tell. It's got building bigger and bigger. Guys, it's amazing. The Samburu are grazing here. <laughs> How would we know? Look at this cow. Look at the horns. Wow. This is majestic. They look they're like the Nyankole cows. Wow. Guys, look at this. Woo! 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 You're beautiful, man. Look at this. This is what we couldn't see in the morning. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Some beautiful rolling hills on the, the background here. And this place is beautiful. So guys, I can hear a lot of, you know, the, the, the bells on the cow's neck eh? and uh, Joshi is telling me something new. So Joshu, they do that because of, uh, why do they tie? So they, they put it actually in, uh, in the neck of any leader mm -hmm. among the uh, among the herds so that the rest can follow them. Uh, and all, all, always they will be together because they can hear each other. Mm -hmm. And the other reason is where they, uh, they are able to uh, the shepherd or uh, the person who is taking care of them can, can always know where they are, especially if they're in the bushes or where you cannot see the cows actually. So, so that's the reason. Guys, you'll always be learning as we, you know, even the, the most basic thing that you can't imagine. So, guys, we have the camp, and uh, I'm just so refreshed. I went, took a shower. Right now, I'm feeling okay. And hi, and with me is Tulipona uh, Matias. If you remember him, he took us to the mountain in the Kuwait. And he's gonna rafki yake apa ibi. That won't be a dinner. Paul, 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 me kona sha, me kona ngali easy. Guys, just look at this. You must come with me, okay? This is the tattoo, isn't it? So, it tattoo na kana nini? Na kana wamba na wamba. Wamba na miba. Na majeka tamara. Guys, they make the tattoo using they use thorn and razor blade. So, is it new 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 chungu? New chungu. Eh? Ina deka long kupona? Ushia jeka? Just one day, even two days. Two days ushia pona. Mm. Ah, just in two days, Mepona. Yeah. What does it symbolize for Samburu? Yeah. So it's mostly bravery. Bravery. So the more you have, it shows the more brave you are. Oh, so Moran. You can later Moran. Come on, me. Moran him to me fine. No, we don't want to. I'm a teuliwa in the community. We chunga dami. Did ya? Oh, from other communities. Yeah. Oh, so Moran is actually an honor to secure, yeah, to secure, because uh, there's a lot of castle lasting from other communities. So him, in case there's a war, you go to the on the Kovita. That's why on a cut to 
to see how brave you are. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Ushaenda vita? Ah uh, mimi eh. Mimi nchaenda vita. Na niulize yeah. in a short way. Mbona mnapiga nanga sana na other communities? Tuna kwa sababu tu ya past na maji. Unajua hmm. we are nomad. So we moved to several different communities, different communities. So you dif- so you move to their land, they move to come to your land yeah. during the different time. Yeah. Of okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh that's how the conflict So sometimes I'm I'm taking you to kwenu because here timko na mingi. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Na hii kunyanganya na ngombe sana sio hao wanajiba nyinyi mnaiba. Sasa unajua what happened hapo? Em. Ah. Tuseme sasa hii mimi nikichukua eh yeah. wao watu wangu wa community wananiap lift kama zero. Eh. Yeah. Mm. Sasa kama mtu brave hivi mwenye anaweza Mm-hmm. Sasa ni kama unajulikana sana. Ah. Uh, uh, so unatakiwa na community kama someone special. Oh that my one. god, if that is the case, hizi vita hizi isha. Because if I go to another community and I take the cattle, I'm a hero in my community. Mm. So and vice versa. Eh? Wasiana huko wana ku praise club wakimba, wanataja tu manini yako. Naona. That's so how you feel like uh, you're a are, brave man. Yeah. So it encourages you to to go and steal again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you so Samburu wana fight huko na communities gani sana? Borana, Turkana, Borana, Turkana, Pokot. Ah, na Pokot. Na wako mbali. It's not like wao wasi wako hapa karibu. Wanaama. Mm. Ah, marafiki yako wamekuja. Naje. Poa sana. Mimi kingine nataka kujua ni maji. Mini guys have been here like in every 30 minutes I need to finish 500 to 1 liter of water <laughs> for me to survive. Nyi mna survive aje na maji. Mbona mbona so guys let me just say mm-hmm. new these guys are the they're showing us they're guiding us to the hill or you know they're running their errands it's going to the hill. Guys we are sweating profusely everyone but they're not sweating. Siji ni nini? Ni nini ni ujanza? Niko soya tu huko na kutokunya maji mengi sana. Eh. Unajua sisi tunaenda kama tukishunganga eh. tunaenda tunapitia mali ambapo hakuna maji. Mm. Mm. Sasa tuna adapt hiyo maisha. Kama ni ngombe tunapeleka kama ni siku mbili yeah. wanaenda kwa hizo siku bila kunya maji. So you can guys the heat here is crazy. It's plus 30 and you can say unaweza kaa siku mbili bila maji. Yeah. So they don't drink a lot of water. They can say two days without water. And uh, okay, the body of course basically has adapted to this. You know, you, you live and you adapt. And also the way they dress. They don't you know, vai vai malongi kama sisi hapa hivi. They very, you know, aerated. Mwilenyu kwa at least iko open sana. Now, the other thing is chakula. Ukienda kuchunga. So, just I'm just asking when they go to graze. You know, when you go grazing for two, three months. I just want to know, understand what do the people with the cows eat? Like how do they survive? How many times a week do they eat? Us, uh, since you are to na, uh, to na kunya dam na mazio. Sasa ikiwa jilali kama sa ito na esakula ugali. So basically, when they go grazing, they take milk, and blood. Na hiyo ngombe si lazima iliwe, si ndio? So you just aim na toa damu at the vein you take alafu unarudisha, unaponyesha. Yeah. Ay 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 ay. Na sasa hiyo inaweza kusustain ngapi ukikula hivyo? Inaweza kusustain siku ngapi ukikula hivyo ukifanya hivyo? Kwa siku kama ni asubuhi unarudi baadaye. Niki nikikunywa hiyo damu na maziwa. Mhm. Ni moto mali baridi nakab baridi dogo sio ile tu damu ya moto ile damu ya mwili oh ni oh fresh fresh one sio ni inaribika unaweka you mix with milk then or else you can even put and then it become at this uh, just like uh, hmm. this milk in here na hii mala mala mazo mala or fermented milk yeah it's so, very nice eh uh, mm. ukikunywa hiyo leo hiyo utakunywa daily ama unakunywa alafu unaweza enda inaweza kusukuma Yeah, the least it has energy because mm. it's just a protein food, milk and blood. Oh, yeah. it's a high protein is food. Yeah, yeah. So, you know the kumakunga kama mfugaji. Kama huna chakula. Eh. 
Ne Nyinyi mnafaa mpewe military. Ah je watu wa Nairobi wa hizi. Kukaa. You know, naenda kwa wilderness, sijui nitapata maji wapi. Nikipata ni sawa, nikikosa na ni sawa. Yeah. Nabeba ya kakikubu yako kidogo hapa. Ah, yeah. majamu kabisa wanaenda. Sasa ukienda, unaweza mm. enda huko ukose ukose nini? Ukose maji, ukose chakula. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Na ukienda huko ukipatana lazima ukimbia utakuwa unakimbia sana unajua kwa hiyo kwa jua mmm eh, unajua sasa ukipatana na ngombe fita inaanza na kimbia for long time <laughs> so ukienda nimechukua ngombe mnaanza kuzikimbiza sasa ya yeah, kabisa kutorosha kabisa na mpaka wale na wale waanze kujipanga wafuate tena wafuate umkipatana umeona pigana Na mimi tu tuseme siku mbili au chakula. Tatu. Na sasa unasema hii kitu kuisha ni ngumu sana. But na area ka hii imesaidia aje sana kuwa na kama hii na plus ka hii tunakuja tunatulia. Imesaidia sana. Eh sana. Mhm. Kwa sababu watu wanapata kasi. Kwanza watu wanapo na kwa msafu na msiwe sana hunting. Mhm. So hunting pia ni iko common huko. Samani likuanga common. Kwa hivyo hivi. Eh. But sasa hizi imetulizwa. Jina leta watu na nini? Watu Yeah. Oh, so the conservancy have really helped and uh, there's still a lot to be done in terms of you know promoting tourism in the country we need to really push tourism around uh, because this place is beautiful and uh, it's not known uh, as that uh, Paul I'm trying to see where Paul is <laughs> so Paul I'm going to rock climber. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, is Paul I'm ever fly, fly Emirates. I always join him some more here. Huh? Oh, Pierre Uyu. Eh 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 eh. Yeah. Eh? So Paul, umepanda milima ngapi? Eh? Una una climbing rock gun? This is up from back in the Cotton Mouse. Eh. Pia nenda Mount Kenya mbatia. Uka climb back here. Mbatia. Yeah, you are a brave man. Hata hii face tulienda. Eh. Wow, hizo ni hii ni ya kujinize tu ama ni competition? Ah, hii ni ya kupanda panda tu. Um. Hai, sawa sawa kuna uko na sana soita, soita. Naweza patikana wabuni wakikutaka. Ah, babuni. Wakitaka details yako unakupata wapi? Na wanapata tu na email yangu. Email yako ni gani? Guys. Ngeo jina yake anaitwa Paul kutaka mountain climbing man is the best guy to go to so this is email address it's one word small letter everything for the email for the gmail account Paul Kolenya Paul Paul Kolenya so it's one word if you need to call him over the phone do hiyo naba piga ah yeah Paul so we've had a great time and uh, yeah unfortunately everything comes to an end don't forget to subscribe like and share see you on the next one